Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into how the person that is on your mind truly feels about you currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of this person's true feelings toward you currently, we have the Magician and we also have the Five of Swords, all right? So when it comes to this person, they feel like they have to win you at all costs, okay? This person is in the Five of Swords energy and I really feel as though you are the Magician, meaning you have everything that this person feels as though they need. OK, they see you as someone very resourceful. They see you as someone. It's like they're realizing your worth now, what you bring to the table and you're everything. OK, and so this person, they want to win you over. They want to win you over at all costs. For some of you, um, I feel like this person is planning something. They're planning a way to come toward you, but it's going to be very deceptive. And I feel like they're going to try to come to you in a different way this time. For some of you, there's something that you said to this person and it's putting them in some like vindictive energy. They want to get back at you. But the energy here, I just feel like they're not able to win anymore. Like they feel like they're not able to get over on you it's almost energy of you can't teach an old dog new tricks type of thing like you know all of their tricks now you're not falling for it and they don't like that they feel defeated this person feels defeated but at the same time they haven't given up they feel very conflicted i feel like this person is thinking about how they can get back at you or how they can win you over OK, because they see you as someone very resourceful, like you're everything that they could ever want or need. Um, this person feels as though you are temperancing yourself, meaning you're not putting in all of the effort that you were putting into the connection. You guys are focused on yourself. You're focused on your healing. I feel like a lot of you, um, you're finding peace. You're finding peace. And that's what you're focused on. They see that you're no longer pouring into them like you used to, okay? I feel like there were times where this person was your main focus and you were overextending yourself. Like you were giving more than they were giving, whether that's, you know, emotionally or whether it was time or energy, resources, whatever it was, you were giving more in the connection. So now they want to rush back in toward you, okay? But they feel as though you have your guard up because they've done too much. They feel as though you are moving on and leaving them out in the cold. Okay. They want to, they're trying to figure out how to change your mind or they're trying to approach you in a different way this time, but they don't really know what to do about it. Hmm. They also feel as though they're no longer able to get through to you like they used to be. They feel like you're just not paying them any attention or like you're not putting in a lot of effort when it comes to them. They also feel like um, there are times where you may want to reconcile with them. And then there are times where you want to just leave them out in the cold. They feel abandoned by you. Some of you may have ghosted this person or you're just cold toward them now, but they definitely feel abandoned. They feel abandoned and it's causing them to be imbalanced. I feel like this person's having financial issues. Their money is up and down. For some of you, they're needing, um, there's something with their vehicle where they may have to pay out a lot of money. Somebody's having trouble with a vehicle. For others of you, if they don't have a vehicle, they're wanting a vehicle, but they really can't afford it, okay? But yeah, I feel like you guys are focused on your um, your career. You're focused on your money, your resources. They also feel as though you have maybe come together with someone else. Doesn't make it true. That's just how they feel. They feel like you found someone that um, or that you will find someone that will give you peace. This person, they also are aware that you over is some of you overextended yourself financially. Like the things you would do for them, they wouldn't do for you. I feel like you were always there for this person, whether it was on an 
emotional level or whether it was, you know, financially, they could always depend on you. This person also feels as though um, everything's going wrong within their career and within their job. For some of you, they may end up losing a job. For others of you, um, this person, they're not able to focus. They try to they try to use work to dis distract themselves, but it's not really working with the tower here. There is someone, for some of you, they're going to lose a job abruptly or there's going to be something that happens that cause, causes them to pay out a lot of money. But they are not financially stable. For some of you, you were this person's stability. Like they could always depend on you and you changed. Like you brought the tower on them. Okay, some of you have decided to turn your back on this person. I feel as though um, for some of you, they're waiting to hear from you. They think they're going to hear from you out of the blue all of a sudden. They regret putting you through a lot of the things that they put you through. For some of you, you may have told this person you're moving forward. For others of you, you may have even told this person that you regret even dealing with them. There's also something that they said to you that they regret saying. They're very immature when it comes to their um, the way that they communicate. Okay, This person, they feel left out in the cold by you, but they're trying to pretend like they're happy. Something that you said to them made them realize that you're focusing on yourself. But yeah, they try to pretend to be be happy. It's all a facade. Their ego, they want to return to you, okay? But their ego is in the way for some of you. In reality, they're in their feelings. They don't know how you feel about them anymore. For some of you, this person is emotionally imbalanced. Okay, they see you with someone they can have a happy family with, but they're not doing anything when it comes to that. And for some of you, they feel like you no longer want a happy family with them anymore. Like you don't really want to be with them long term. They also want to apologize to you. For some of you, they want to express your express their love to you. They feel as though the two of you are meant to be. There is a lot of love here or there was a lot of love at some point, but they want to start new. Now, there are two kings right next to each other. For some of you, if you suspect it, this person may be interested in the same sex. If it's not that, then this person, it's almost like they have a split personality. At some points, they can be lovey-dovey toward you. And at other times, it's almost like they have an anger issue or like they're all about themselves. They're the type that will separate on other people's toes to get what they want they're definitely very well led by their private area this person has dealt with a lot of people on a sexual level and i feel like they're tired of being that way they're tired of being a player they're very burdened even within their career all right i feel like um I feel like when it comes to this person, they think you're dropping them. They know they've been a burden, okay? I feel like they've also tried to replace you with other people. They looked for you and others, but they're not able to find you. Um, they still feel a very strong bond to you, but they feel like you're no longer interested. You're focusing on your happiness. They also feel as though you have other options and that you may come together with one of those other options. But they do want to make things right with you. This person also sees you as the empress, whether you're a male or a female. So, And this is my card of blessings, the ace of pentacles. So this person sees you as a blessing. They feel like you're the most stable person that they've ever been in a relationship with or they've ever been involved with. Like you are a blessing to this person. For some of you financially, you're coming off as someone very beautiful. You have a beautiful soul, a beautiful spirit, very confident. They feel like you are um, doing very well in your career. For those of you that are, um, if you own your own business, I see your business being blessed. If you don't own your own business and there's some type of, you know, something that you want to do um, with self-employment, Spirit is saying to go for it. Yeah, this person also feels as though you know about another lover that they were involved with or something like that. Someone they had a relationship with, but they actually want to be single from that person. They think you're serious about moving forward this time, but they're trying to figure out how to change your mind and they're really stressing about it. For some of you, they're stressing about a home situation or about their money. 
very unstable energy. They may even be using someone for a home right now. And as soon as they get up on their feet, they're going to um, turn their back on that person. But yeah, for some of you, um, you either suspect or you found out or will find out about another lover. And that's what, you know, I see you cutting this person out. But they feel as though you are cold toward them or you've cut them out because of other lovers. Whether you have discovered another lover or not, they feel as though you know about it. But with that Queen of Swords energy, they put you through too much. That soft spot is damn near gone if it's not gone already. Excuse me for cursing. But yeah, this person, they, um, they're a mess. They feel like you view them differently. They're having a different perspective when it comes to you. They're also going to try to come to you and approach you from a different, a different way this time. Like it's like they're going to try to do things differently, but see, they can't be trusted because the devil is here along with the will of fortune. This person is in very dark, um, uh, a dark space. You can't trust anything this person says. They'll tell you anything, anything just to change your mind about them or to get you to want to move forward with them. Like they're obsessed with changing your mind about them. This person also feels as though they're not going to let you go. The devil here with the will of fortune. It's like um, they they're not going to let up. Even if they're not coming toward you or you feel as though they're done with you, they're obsessing. For some of you, they're also jealous of your destiny. If you have good things coming in for you, they're jealous of it. It's like they want to be a part of your life for what you have. Um... I do feel like this person loves you, but they don't. You wouldn't even know it with the way that they act. You wouldn't even know it. But with this magician and the five of swords, I don't really like the energy because they feel as though they have to win you at all costs. And, you know, this this is the type of person that will cheat. They'll do anything like they'll. Um, and what I mean by cheating for some of you, they actually really will cheat. But for others of you, it's like they'll use everything that you tell them or they'll use your soft spot against you to get their way with you. They want their way with you at all costs. This person has a chip on their shoulder. They have a chip on their shoulder. The magician with the five of swords. I don't like that. Give me more Holy Spirit. What else? When it comes to how this person truly feels about my viewers. What else, Spirit? Two more shuffles. Mm, this person's a mess. For some of you, they feel like you're avoiding talking to them. We have the Knight of Pentacles. See, they're coming back toward you. So for those of you that have been waiting to hear from this person, you're going to hear from them. But... It's, it may take them a little while to come in because they're trying to figure out how to come toward you in the right way. But with the Knight of Pentacles, they're definitely coming. But I feel like you guys have turned your back on them. You've turned your back on them. For some of you, um, if they're living with someone else, um, they're in their living situation, there's a lot of betrayal. That's going to come to an end. They may have to end up moving. They see you as a go-getter. They want to hold on to you. So this is someone that's holding on to you energetically. Because like for some of you, like when you watch readings, you may say, okay, well, I just want this person to leave me alone. Get out of my energy. If this person is thinking about you and you're on their mind, the physical and the spiritual is different. Okay. We can control who comes in physically because we can block people. Um, if someone comes to your house and you don't want to let them in, you can lock your door. But when it comes to... When I pull these cards out and I tap into the spiritual, it opens the door for whoever is in your energy. Even if you're not paying this person any attention, you're getting over them, you want to move on. If they're still thinking about you, if they're still holding on to you, and I know that they are with this four of pentacles energy, okay? They're holding on to you, so they're going to pop up in your readings. So you guys, you know, for those of you that feel that way, don't shoot the messenger. We can't help what comes out. And I'm definitely not going to lie to you. I'm not going to get stripped, you know, for giving you false readings. Give me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Holy Spirit, why is that here? Look at this. The Nine of Wands. 
Okay, and that came out crossing. So they want to come in, but for some of you, you have them blocked. For others of you, I feel like you're trying to block this person spiritually. Look at this. The Ten of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. You're tired. For some of you, you don't even want what this person has to offer. You're turning your back. You want expansion in your life. You guys are realizing that it's too, it's going to be too hard to expand with this person. So they feel like you're focusing on you. For some of you, I see a new job coming in for you or a new opportunity within your career. Okay. For some of you, this person wants a new start with you because they see you as someone very stable within your finances. or so you have very nice things. You're a hard worker and they're over here going through financial issues. For some of you, they want you to help them financially, but they're trying to figure out how to move forward with you. But see, there's no reciprocity here. You guys are tired of giving giving to the situation. So a lot of you have either ended things with this person or you're wanting to end things and you're serious this time around and they know it. Okay? They know it. I feel like... When you were focused on them, they weren't focused on you. And so the tables have turned. Now they want to come together and work things out. And they're stressing about it because they know they'll never meet anyone else like you. The Empress with the Justice card, you are their karma. Your success will be this person's karma. Okay? They, and for some of you, it's like they're stressing because they're like, how, how can this person still be standing after all that I put them through? After all that I put them through, how, how, how is this person still glowing? It messes with them. They stress about you a lot at night. So if you catch yourself thinking about this person at night, it's because they're stressing about you. But God is on your side. The universe is working in your favor and they're not going to let you fail. Your ancestors, your guides, your angels, they are on your side and they're working behind the scenes to make sure that you come out on top. There's nothing they could do with you, baby. Nothing they can do with you. And they know it at this point. You have learned all of this person's tricks. You have learned them all. The difference is this time around, a lot of you aren't falling for it. You're not falling for what this person is coming to you with. You know, you know them like the back of your hand and they are aware of it. Give me more what how this person truly feels. How does this person feel? Thank you. The nine of pentacles. They feel like you're doing good without them, that you're very independent. They also feel as though, um, like you have worked hard for what it is that you have. They feel like you're abundant. They also feel like um, you are like the, you are highly sought after. See how they, in, excuse me guys. See how this person energetically interfered with the reading my camera just cut out. So they don't want you to know that you're like the um, apple of a lot of people's eye. For some of you, that's why they want to date you. They're very fond of you because they, they know that you're independent. You don't need anyone. Okay? You don't need anyone but God. You're good. You're good with or without them. And they see you standing strong, standing in your power. Give me more. Why is this nine of pentacles here for this person's true feelings? Look at this. For some of you, they want to steal what you have. They also feel as though you're doing better in your life on a financial standpoint. And... Um, they feel like you've been avoiding them. They want to sneak their way back in. And like I said, be careful because for some of you, they want what you have. They want to steal from you. They want your abundance. Look at this. Out of all these cards, there's no cups here. So it's all about money. It's all about materialism. And it's all about a lot of um, playing games. The only cup card we have here is on the magician card and the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, they want to try to play on your emotions. They may try to tell you they want a relationship with you. Okay. But I feel like you guys are moving forward either way. And for some of you, you're going to run into better. There's going to be a new relationship that comes in for you if, if it hasn't already. And it can result in marriage. There's going to be a lot of expansion and things are going to go in your favor. The new person could end up being a Libra, a fire sign, a water sign, an air sign for, for some of you. There's a little bit of air here. Could definitely be a water sign though or a Taurus for some of you. I do see a little bit of earth here as well. But yeah, this person's a mess. They are a mess. Can't teach an old dog new tricks, baby. You you know you know this person. You know what they have up their sleeve. And you're ready for them with the magician. The five of swords can't defeat the magician. You're the magician. They can't get over on you. They can't. 
Wow. Okay. So everyone, that is the reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every, each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.